Today is World AIDS Day, dedicated to raising awareness about AIDS. It is also a time to honor those that we have lost and unite people in the fight against AIDS and HIV. Olympic gold medalist and best-selling author Greg Luganis joining us now. Thank you so much for the time. Um, can you talk a little bit about some of the uh, personal experiences that we know you've gone through that you're planning to highlight today about living with HIV? Well, that's the thing about a memorial. It's it's about history and learning uh, from our mistakes. And uh, early on, I was diagnosed uh, HIV positive six months prior to the Olympic Games in 1988. And that was so challenging. I mean, I was actually, actually competing in a country, Korea, that... I wouldn't have been allowed to to go to had they known my Red HIV status. Lines. So we've come a long way from that point, but there's a lot of education that, that happens and uh, that needs to be done and also fighting stigma surrounding HIV, giving awareness and information. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, you were already, I'm sure, stressed out about going to the Olympics. You had a lot on your plate. What kind of extra pressure did that <clears throat> add to you knowing that this was sort of a secret? Well, you know what? It, it was actually a blessing because I was, rather than focused on my disease, uh, then I focus, I had diving to focus on. And I think that's probably a good part of the reason why I'm still here. You know, we've made so many advances in, in treatment and all that. So I, you know, I, I feel like I was, I was blessed because I didn't get sucked into the diagnosis. Mm. Mm -hmm. Greg, as a former sports reporter, that moment that you hit your head, I mean, it's such an <laughs> iconic moment in sports. It's like burns in my brain. When you reflect yeah. on it, what do you think about that? You know, it was when it happened. I mean, my my first emotion was I was embarrassed. You know, I was like, OK, how do I get out of this pool without anybody seeing me? But then my, uh, you know, my fear and concern was I was HIV positive and there wasn't a whole lot of information of how HIV is tr transmitted. Mm -hmm. So there was a bit of fear surrounding that. Uh, I, kn I knew it was blood to blood. So the only ones that would be in, uh, in harm's way potentially would be the doctors who sewed my head up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, Ryan White, uh, who's a young boy who is a hemophiliac uh, who experienced a lot of, you know, hate in Indiana. Uh, he became a friend of mine, and so I knew that he was a fighter because he fight for fought for the right for kids with HIV for their education, and so I knew he was a fighter. So he was my inspiration to get back on the board and and follow through you know, what I had already started. So um, that's the reason why I, I gave Jeannie White my medal from the, you know, from the 88 wow. Olympic Games. Very, uh, very, on, very For special. the springboard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Olympic gold medalist, uh, Greg Luganis, we could talk about this all morning. You have such an interesting perspective. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me. And join us at, you know, noon to two, I'm gonna be speaking. In okay. the Grove at, at the, the Grove, National Memorial. Golden Gate Park. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yep.